Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Evil Space. And yes, as you can see, I added a couple more black and coke ovens up there. Uh, the creosote, or the, the cold coke, wasn't quite holding up, so I put a couple more in there, since we have uh, quite the surplus of cold, uh, cold dust coming out of there. Here, these are actually backlogged, which is really good. Uh, that one's not backlogged, but what's going on? Is there an issue going on here or something? Or is this just like a visual glitch? Oh, I think it's just going through so fast, that's why. But this is rolling pretty good. Uh, eventually I want to get these boilers upgraded. Uh, but one of the things we do have to do is deal with the ash situation. And we are actually going to need to use this ash to make aluminum. Now, aluminum, I decided we're going to go ahead and start expanding upwards and make use of all that concrete that I've been making and go from there. Uh, the steel has been rolling pretty good. Uh, as you see, I do have a whole bunch of machines already made up. I got... Uh, in here, the washer, the hammer, macerator, and then a few other things that we're going to need. Made a few, a few more fuel fluid furnaces too, because we got a lot of creosote being produced, and we got to use it, or else that's going to back up. Then I have to keep switching the valve on and off. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the electrolyzer set up. Now I don't have it on me. I actually have it over here. Uh, Got to eventually start working on better power production too because uh, that arc furnace is definitely using a lot of juice. Alright, so we have the electrolyzer. Now the electrolyzer basically turns ash into carbon dust. And the carbon dust is actually really good fuel, or in this case we're going to be using it for uh, making aluminum. So what I have to do is these four furnaces here and the eight furnaces that are underneath these dryers I have to get a, another conveyor to the output. Do I have anything in there? No, I don't. So that's going to be pretty simple. As you can see, I got the red line here. Take that out and we'll quickly jump out. Wire stopped me from going too far. And as you can see, oh. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I guess I'll be using steel con con conveyors or junctions. I won't have to worry about them connecting, so I'm going to do, uh, let's see, uh, do that. I don't need the, don't need the copper ones anymore. Um, what can I do with this? Uh, can I stick it in here? I can. Good. Gives me a little more inventory space. All right, so I'll do that and that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the in is going to be on the red. Yes. Yes. And... I'm going to do the same on the other side. And basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting all these hooked up together on their own, own conveyor system. And I'm going to have it come up to the floor over there. This is going to take me a few minutes to get all worked out and figured out. But I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, so I got all the, uh, the ash outputs hooked up. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge trying to get through. Uh, what I had to do is I had to turn the furnaces so the input was on the inside to use one, uh, one junction there so I could have the outputs on the other side just because of the way everything was spaced. So these are feeding out here. These are feeding out here. They're going to come out and join up. And then uh, go on to the other side here if I can squeeze in here somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a tight fit. Uh, but yeah, this one here comes out of the out of the furnaces and joins up with here, which comes out of these two furnaces, which go through over here, and then clean up the ash out of the boilers. I had to fill that, and I fell down that hole way down deep. It took me forever to get out, and it comes into here to the boilers, and then these are going to join up to that. And I probably should get those, but I'm not too worried about those because uh, we're making it an excess of creosote, which is good. So now what I gotta do is just figure out where I wanna have this set up. And then we can get the conveyors going in from there. And up we go. And, okay. So basically I just wanna have an area up here and it's gonna be more or less transport up to another floor. Uh, we do have a wire here, so let's, let's just pick it up right here. Why not? A nice arbitrary place. And drop down. And, oh, look at that. It's almost like I planned it. Okay, so, let's, uh, let's see here. I want to place a block there. And another block. And that is 
I forgot no way to actually crouch in this game. So we'll do that there, and then this one, we're gonna have to place. Uh, let's see here. I'll place the block there, like so, and like that. Uh, you are gonna take your output on the red, and you are gonna be. I think I'm gonna get you going the other way. Uh, you're gonna out on the pink, which means you're gonna be in on the green, out on the pink, and then in on the green here. And then this one, I think what I'm gonna do is place another junction. I'm gonna place a block here. Find a place I can get down because apparently you can't crouch in this game. Unless I just don't know how to, except for dig a hole in the ground. Okay, I'll take those out just because. So this one go out on the red, uh, like so. Uh, that one's going that way, feeding into there. That goes out on the red. Uh, does it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And then uh, that goes out on the pink. And there we go. Now I gotta get back up top. After I punch a hole so I know exactly where it is. Like so. And in fact. Actually, let's put the electrolyzer down to see if there's actually an input on the bottom first. Oh, that's not a jetpack. I'm actually enjoying those conveyor junctions. They're fun to work with. Okay, so now we need an electrolyzer. Which is right here. And I forgot how big it is. Oh, it's just a tiny thing. And as you can see, it has input, output for both items and water. We won't be using the, the water. So I think, let's see here, input. Okay. And then we do not place it on top. We place it on the side. Take you out. And you got nothing in you now. So we'll... Out on the blue, it comes into here, it goes in the white, and goes out to the pink. And there we go, we should start getting ash in here. So now all we have to do is hook up power to it. I do have some cables on me, I cleared out a whole bunch of cables I had underneath here because I didn't actually need them. And let's bring on the morning, just because we can. Okay, and... Oh, uh, like a so. And I have thought about uh, actually building over top of everything here. And I have made a whole bunch of those lights. As you can see, i got 12 of them here. They're actually pretty good. It's not like we have to worry about mob spine or anything, but we've got to have some sort of light. So then that, what, what that is doing is that is making carbon dust. So now I'm going to unnecessarily put a shelf here. Uh, make sure I face it the right way. And that's gonna get us our carbon dust. And then what I'm also gonna do is, because I have a ton of this ash laying around, uh, I'm gonna get. Hmm. Only way to really feed it in there's a little robot. So. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. Uh, let me get a little quick little feed in section here. I'll be right back. Okay, I just had to put a wooden box down there. I'm going to stick a robotic arm down. But I'm going around and seeing if i got any more ash kicking around because this place seriously needs to clean up. And so far, I think i got everything that was empty. I think I have some over here, actually. Uh, limestone in there. So let's go over here and then uh, I'm just going to place a robot down and I can automatically feed it in there. So Ash, okay, and get a helping hand here. Uh, that's not going to work. Because it won't place it into actual conveyor junctions. Uh, that's fine. So I'll place you there and uh, let's hope this works. I think I just lost a whole bunch of ash. Oh, maybe not. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, I was a little worried about that. Okay. So that's going to do it soon. It's not going to get in there fast enough. Maybe we'll help it out a bit. Yeah, the arms are the fastest. Uh, I'm curious to see how the aluminum version goes. But there we go. So now we got 39 carbon. So now on to the next step. Now I do have everything I need uh, made to get up to here. Uh, well, up to here anyways. Uh, I think I do have some steel steam engines somewhere. If not, I can make a couple. But I need one engine and two engines. And the rest is all pipe. Okay, and some robots, so uh, let me do that. Another thing I'm going to do too, and I'll do this off camera because it's going to be a little while, but I have all this concrete. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole bunch of the small concrete tiles, because I actually like that pattern. Uh, as you notice, other than the fact that I have ash on me, I have steel scaffolding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically add a second level. And I've been thinking about it, I might go right into the corners here. Uh, basically, a uh, I want to make sure I actually have enough room, so I'll place probably a pillar there, and then go down all the way to the other end here, and probably put another one. Not too sure, probably right into the concrete here. Uh, I'm only going to go up to about the coke ovens, and then that's just going to be their own separate area. And then I'm going to go up, uh, I think it was going to be a five block height. So, probably one here, one, two, three, four, five, and then the floor will be on this block here. So that gives plenty of room, and then I can place uh, the lamps underneath it. So let me get all that taken care of, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what I've got. Got a huge area. I actually like that tile. Uh, I'll show you when we go upstairs. Actually, I'll show you right now. I just had to put some stairs in just because... Uh, I thought that was an elevator of some sort, but apparently not, but uh, the lighting on these tiles is just amazing. But anyway, so what was I doing? I was getting robots made, I was... got all the machines made. Uh, furnaces, pipes, and... oh yeah, the lights. Uh, sort of having a bit of a issue with the... Uh, the coal coke it's getting backed up in the last six furnaces there or seven because the conveyor line isn't able to keep up so i might have to split that up and have have half of it being rooted somewhere else i'm not too sure but we'll figure that out when uh it starts becoming a problem anyways let's uh see how well these light up let's put it right above the ore washing plant just because Uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now because it's daytime. So that's the light it produces. Yeah, it's not too bad. And I do realize I have it upside down. But let's uh, let's try putting this over here. Okay. That's not too bad. And then space it out to like here. And then do another one, let's say here. Okay, I'll take the, this one out and see how, how it looks. Not that it matters because I'm usually be having skipping day anyways. But that's not too bad. Anyways, speaking of skipping, or skipping night, I should say. Nobody saw that. Nobody ever sees that. Mm -hmm. Of course, we all do. Anyways, so let us start sitting up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the shelf, because this is going to be where our aluminum ore goes in. And I'm wondering... Yeah, because we've got the electrolyzer over there anyways. Let's start over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll place our shelf down. And then uh, let's get everything on the bar that we need. We need robots. We need a uh, hammer. So let's do that first. Let's do robot. And then you're feeding it into a hammer, which goes to another robot, which goes into an ore washing plant. And I think it was like that on this one. Yes. 
And then from there we go another robot, which goes into a macerator, like so. And then, yeah, because we're working on aluminum, so this is what we gotta do. So for aluminum, we gotta get this, which comes from well, we gotta get that. Now, aluminum oxide dust gets from running the uh, impure dust, which is the three and a half time doubling, we'll call it, through a steel separator. So this is this point here after the mass fader. So from there, it has to go into here. So I have already made one of those, and this is a steel separator. And it's just basically a miniature centrifuge. And just because I like the robots, we're going to do it that way. Now, that actually needs power. I do believe. Does it? I can't remember. Mechanical power. Well, I'm not seeing the, the whole thing on there. Probably a texture issue. Um, I don't know any ste steam engine zombie. What do you know? I uh, will in a second. Make three. I'm sure I've got some more somewhere. So then after here, then I'm going to need two more robots. I'm going to need the filtering robots. Because uh, one's going to take the iron out, one's going to take the tungsten out. Now, I'm assuming it goes on that side. We'll find out. Another one there, and then another one over here. Oh, not there. Oh, yeah, I have a screwdriver. It's okay. Perfect. Okay, and so we got to get some steam up here for all this. And then after the separator, let's get that out. And let's just see exactly how far we have to go. So, to, um, yeah, so then basically this comes out and gets mixed in an alloy smelter with uh, carbon dust, which we've made in the electrolyzer all the way down there, which means I was going to have to get piped up here. This is actually a smaller setup than I thought it was going to be, which is fine. Anyways, uh, so now we need, we need to put open up a hole in the floor for an alloy smelter. Let's put it let's put it right here. Uh, I will have to open up another hole. I am aware of that. Let's see, where is that going to be? Uh, where is my creosote? Hmm. I don't think it really matters what we'll do. There's a height underneath uh, the alloy smelter. Why not? Okay, so we got that. And then we got the alloy smelter. We'll go there. And then after the alloy smelter, then it's going to go into the arc furnace. Because this is what we get from the alloy smelter. And then it goes into the arc furnace, which is more power. And I didn't actually make one of those. Okay, and one of those. So, of course, it's going to be another robot, like so. Uh, what I will have to do is because I got that that stuff I gotta deal with too and I gotta get that in here somewhere oh I'm out of robots am I I am I am out of materials too so I'll have to get that done so uh, yeah I'll as well go down and get it since I have everything right here. This is the only thing I don't like is having to scroll just to take a stack out instead of just like shift clicking. Shift clicking will fill your inventory. It tries to take care of everything. Okay. So let's craft another five robots. Uh, I might as well take the stairs since I put them in. Uh, do, 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 do. Up we go. Yeah, this is actually a surprisingly small line. I gotta admit, I'm, I'm shocked at this. Hmm. Now I'm wondering. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I am going to... Oh, will you not let me rotate you? Really? Alright, fine. Do it the hard way then. 
Just because I don't want the floor any wider than it needs to be. Okay, and... Robots, please. Like so, and then we'll do... Another one like that, who's going to be feeding off the conveyors. Uh, let's make that many. Now, we go down here. And... Let's see here. We're going to have to have a robot here. So there has to be a conveyor and a conveyor junction. Junction there. Junction will have to go up top. Let's place a block there for now. And conveyors should be done. Yes. Like so. And now jetpack back up. And up we go. A little too high. <gasps> Anyway, uh, oh, I put that there for a reason. Ha ha ha. Let's see if the old Minecraft trick works. It does. Thank you. Oh, I needed that. Whatever. No, oh, actually, I didn't, but. Okay. And you're going up on blue. I'm going up by jetpack after a second bounce. Okay. You're coming in on red. You're going to be going out on pink. And you are going to be going this way. Okay, make sure they're going the right way. They like to turn on me for some reason. I know it's got to do with the way I'm facing, but i got to blame somebody, right? And we'll craft another five. Okay. Who knew aluminum would be so expensive, right? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Do that. And that, and that, and thank God for the screwdriver. Okay, and we will turn you that way. Okay, so that is going to be loading up with carbon. Carbon dust, i got to make sure that the aluminum doesn't get left behind. Alright, so let's get that out of there. And now pipes. Let's see what's going to be the best way to do this here. Uh, that, since we actually have the pipe down, like, more or less right below us, we can feed that in. That'll actually get the concrete supplied right a little bit smoother because I've been running out of ore water. Okay, uh, let's actually just come off the top like so. And that, and that. Then we'll come over here like so. And one more, one more. There we go. And over to the hammer. Uh, I forgot this one was on this back side. It's kind of strange how they have the the inputs and outputs on uh, almost completely random sides. You'd figure they would be all the same, sort of the same, right? Uh, am I out of pipes already? Yeah, I'm going to have to make some more pipe because i got to go downstairs too. Uh, let me get this all plumbed up, including the furnace, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I get everything all plumbed up. Uh, next thing we got to do is get the, the machines going through afterwards. So again, we're going to place a conveyor here. And then we're going to have a conveyor splitter. And we're going to do the same thing that we've done before, where we have a cutting machine and a hammer. Which means i got to make another cutting machine. Let's see here. Cutting machine, yes. Okay, and there's my splitter. Uh, where's that arrow? Okay, there we go. Can barely see it. So now we get um, more conveyors, uh, like so. This one keeps going, and then we're gonna have two shelves here, one there and one there. We're gonna have our cutting machine. Like so. Right? Yeah. And then one more conveyor. Which I don't have yet. Actually, I need a steam engine too. 
Uh, yeah, definitely gonna have to get some more boilers going by the looks of it. Okay, uh, conveyor and a steam engine. Okay, and I'm just gonna get that hooked up into the line here. And again, I have to be careful because I got the creosote, uh, the wastewater line there. I don't want that getting crossed with my steam because then I have to empty out all my pipes and machines and everything. Perfect. Good. So all that's left to do really is, uh, well, let's make it a water collector. But we just got to get some uh, aluminum ore going through. Sounds like a plan. I got the fuel for us all set up. Everything's got steam. It's got water. It's got everything. So now I got to go on a little bit of aluminum hunt. Actually, I missed a step here. He he he. I don't know if any of you actually caught that. But yeah, gotta go and do an arc furnace first. And I know this because I saw it in my inventory and I was like, wait a minute, that's right. Okay, so that's gotta go there, which means we gotta get power. Let's actually rotate this because I got power on the other side. Oh, and I can't rotate you, you bastard. Well, I don't like that. Well, I guess it's not a single block. I guess that does kind of make sense. All right, well, you get the idea. Let me uh, get everything in place here, get this hooked up, and I'll bring you back when it's time to get some aluminum they need. Okay, I'm on my way back. I gathered up, I don't know what, seven or eight stacks of aluminum, so it's not too bad uh, stuff. For some reason, this stuff is really difficult to mine. Oops. And I'm apparently stuck in a tree. Not anymore. Anyway, uh, let us head back. And I thought I'd start recording to show you the big lag spike I'm starting to appreciate when I come back to my little setup there. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Yes, I am no stranger to lag. Okay, so we are ready to go. I have a lot of aluminum on me. We have our carbon going. All that's left to do is run it through. Now, I will have to get this pulled out. Um, actually, that's actually one thing I forgot to do. i get on the other side here if I can. Uh, I need another filtering robot. Actually, I needed two of them. I got one. Uh, that is not a filtering robot. I do have a lens on me, so I can make another one. That is good. I need one of those. And this is because one is going to be pulling out the aluminum powder, and one's going to be pulling out the tungsten. So, yes, that one's going that way. And that one's going that way. And I think for the time being... Can I make a chest? Like just a wooden chest for now. Uh, I can. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So, you are going to be filtering out of here. Let us start the process, shall we? So, you go into here. You get hammered. Did I not connect you up to the steam line? I didn't. Oh, that always helps. Alright, let's do this quickly here. And uh, up we go. Oh, I didn't miss it. Come on. There we go. You basically have to hold it and to keep jumping until you jump up again. So I gotta make sure not to cross that line because that is my creosote line. But I think there's a steam pipe just below here. So we'll take that out. And there is. Oh, look at that. I can actually reach it. And not enough pipe. Never enough pipe. Well, I'll just have to go grab another one then. This is simple. Well, I've been cleaning up this shelf here. Trying to grab what I can out of it. Because trying to get that back into the system is going to be a bit of a 
bit of a pain. And up we go. Whoa, too high. Thank God for the. Like I said before, thank God we don't get fall damage. And. There we go. Now we're running. So you are making the impure ore gravel, which is going to go in here. And it gets washed into aluminum ore gravel, which goes into here, which becomes uh, impure aluminum dust. And that's going to go into the separator. And I actually have to wait for this to go through so I can actually set the arms, uh, the robots. These guys here, the things with the claws that pull things out. So that is, oh yeah, that's going into that, to the ore dust. And then that's going to come out and go into the centrifuge and it's going to become tungsten and aluminum dust. Aluminum oxide dust and tungsten oxide dust. So now what I have to do is I have to wait for that to get processed because the robots won't take anything out because of filtering until I tell it what to take out. So we'll take that, we'll take that. You are going to be taking aluminum. Okay, and you are going to be taking tungsten. Uh, you are going to be placing tungsten in a box. And hopefully... Everybody should be doing their thing. As soon as that is done. Oh, hang on. There we go. Now I gotta lock that. There we go. First aluminum carbide ingot going through. Now you are taking tungsten out. Good. Okay, up we go. Yeah, the industrial version of that separator actually needs electricity. And then that's going into here. That is becoming an aluminum ingot. That's going to come through. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot the press. I forgot the metal press. Get that out before it goes through. Did I pick it up? Or did it run out of power? Oh, no, it went through. Okay, we'll clear that, so I have to move everything back, so let me do that. Okay, I'm just getting the last of it in now. I made it, went ahead and made that another hammer, because we're going to make plates out of it. Like so. Look at those shiny blue ingots. Now, I've worked with aluminum for 16 years. I have never seen shiny, shiny aluminum, or shiny blue aluminum like that. Okay, and now we just need another steam engine. Crap with one of those. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, no, we don't need a steam engine for this. It is just steam powered. Make sure we got the right pipe. Okay, I was thinking maybe I needed a metal press to actually press this. So then that goes into plates, and that goes over here and becomes uh, half plates, half components. And we'll just let that do its thing. Let's check those Coke ovens, see how they're doing. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, it's still going. I didn't see this one actually lit up, so how is that? Yeah, that's what I mean. We're getting a backlog on this end, so I'm going to have to deal with this off camera. The other ones seem to be okay. It's just when you get up to here, because you got these six, uh, seven coming through, and then these ones. So these ones get emptied first before those, so that's a bit of an issue, and it's because I got everything going through this, these conveyors. Anyways, up we go, and we'll see how the, the aluminum situation is doing. Uh, since we're in aluminum, I can make an aluminum jetpack. I think that's going to be the first thing I make. Oh, look at that. Shiny parts. Two of each. Now, what do I need for this jetpack? And then we also have an aluminum tank now. And that's the thing. We're going to the higher tiers. We get new things. And I have, like, these pneumatic pipes. I have absolutely no idea what they're used for. But we get to the disassembler, we get 
the industrial centrifuge or the separator. We have the fermenters. We can start making methanol and all that fun stuff. But I need two casings. And a casing was... As soon as I find it here. There. Three. So I got to wait a few minutes for some aluminum to get processed. What do you mean the wastewater is out full? Oh, yes. I was going to put these on fluid furnaces and I haven't yet. What did I put in there? Coal? I don't think I have any coal in here, do I? Uh, no, but I have coke dust. That'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, that's why I was trying to get things on the fluid furnaces. At least they're self-automated. In fact, let's give you some of this. That's definitely something to keep an eye out for because, yeah, if uh, this system backs up, then everything backs up because of, uh, well, because the ore water's got nowhere to go. Especially with something like aluminum. Like this is, yes, this is complicated for the next step, but believe me, once we start getting a tight uh, stainless steel, that's gonna be even more complicated. Okay, so we should, yes, we have stuff going through the separator and the macerator and everything so yeah i will bring you back in a moment okay i'm just about done i just gotta make a couple of pipes and then i should have everything ready to go let me make that and we'll get back upstairs really should put some stairs on this side just because and up we go and down we come good all right now we should just have to wait for one more plate to come through as soon as it shows up, we can make our jetpack and find out what it does. Well, we know what it does, but maybe this one will work a little bit better. And of course, that's going to the cutting machine. So we can wait for the next one, which won't take too long. Uh, what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to get this whole thing straightened out. Um, what I might do is I might separate the lines, have one line of them going to those furnaces and the other line going over to these furnaces a uh, line going to these furnaces there's a couple others that's hooked up to them i don't know which ones they are but i know i got a couple more stone furnaces hooked up somewhere but with that being said oh there we go get that double jump let me go over here and we have that last plate to go through i can hear it in the arc furnace now Come on. Got a nice supply, it just takes a long time. And this is this is the steel version. We could probably get to the aluminum, which will be a lot faster. But again, we're having power generation issues. So probably what we're gonna do next episode is uh, start working on upgrading this system here. This is where my power generation is being generated. And uh, we might be able to get more steam going. Uh, should I should actually check the creosote situation. Uh, it's holding up pretty good. Uh, for now. I am dumping it right now. But if we open this up and stop dumping it, we'll find that this is actually going to start going up. Because we're basically using more than what I'm actually using. Or we're making more than I'm using. Which is always a good thing because it just means more fuel. And as long as the bamboo farms can hold up, I can get another, easily get another four coke ovens up there. Not a problem. And there is our plate. So now, we can make an aluminum jetpack. Yay! I have absolutely no idea what this is going to be like. Holy jeez. Uh, it was just the first jump. Let's see what the second jump does. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have that double jump. But definitely better. Wow. 
there's that double jump. Holy jeez. Thank God, like I said, thank God there's a fall damage. But nice, that definitely gets around so much faster. I wonder how many other tiers of jetpacks we have. Just the one. Wait, why is it not showing the couple one showing up? Oh, steam pack. And then we get up to jet pack. And yeah, it looks like that's it. What is that? Neutronium and min tool. Okay. Interesting. That's a long ways to go though. But we have the high tier jetpack. Cool. We also have some new new equipment. Like we got radiators now for dissipating heat and I have absolutely no idea what those are used for. We have the Oh, that's what I have now, steam turbines, but we have gas steam turbines, but I think that's actually stainless that we get those ones. Yeah, we got stain steel uh, gas turbines, which use fuel like creosote and oxygen air or steam. So you get like an obscene amount of kinetic energy out of them. Like, look at that, up to 64 kinetic energy in 40 seconds with hydrogen and steam, oxygen. Oxygen. Oh, yeah. And that's where the, the chemical, the stainless steel chemical reaction chamber gets into, but yeah, that's going to be a whole other rabbit hole that we're going to get into. A terminal. Hmm. Interesting. But with that, I think we're going to call the episode. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.